Well, whoever becomes the next president, one topic that person is sure to have to address is the future of offshore energy exploration in the Atlantic. In Washington, 33 Congress members wrote a letter to the federal government asking to put a halt to the permitting process for seismic testing in the Atlantic. WNCN's political reporter Bo Minnick spoke with one of those members today, North Carolina Democratic Congressman David Price. Bo. Sharon, among the 33, there were both Democrats and Republicans who signed this letter. They're asking for a new environmental study to be done, Price voiced concerns about any potential impacts to marine life or the environment. You know, the coastal communities, the tourism industry, I mean, there are a lot of people who are very wary about this, and I think rightly so. Congressman David Price stopped by our studios to talk several topics. Price is one of 33 Congress members who signed a letter sent to the director of the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, an agency that issues permits on potential seismic testing in the Atlantic. Let's make sure we understand the impact of it. Let's, uh, let's be sure we understand how seismic uh, testing can be done in a way that minimizes the damage to marine life. WNCN has closely followed the prospects of seismic testing off our coast for more than a year. There would be a ship with air guns in tow that would send sound waves into the water that would go to the bottom and then penetrate the ocean floor and would send information back to the ship. We need to protect the pristine environment that makes North Carolina so wonderful. But we also need to be smart and find out what's out there. We also spoke today with Republican State Representative Pat McElrath, whose district, Carteret County, is on the coast. She believes the only way to know what resources are out there is to do seismic testing, and she believes it can be done safely. We're not talking about three miles in state water like you have down in the Gulf. We're talking from 50 to 65 miles offshore. So as far as any environmental impact, there, sh there shouldn't be one that far off. The petroleum industry and companies that do seismic testing agree the techniques to ensure safety are there. But Congressman Price tells us there's so much at stake that the feds should be absolutely sure before moving forward. I just want to proceed very, very carefully, and I don't see any overriding reason not to do so. Those involved say there won't be seismic testing for energy exploration until sometime next year at the earliest. Now, switching topics, I also had the chance to ask Price on his take regarding the current budget negotiations in Washington. He's concerned, too, with many issues that have social ties, like defunding Planned Parenthood, that they might find their way into the proposal. Well, most of the issue now is uh, do we uh, have a lot of extraneous material on the bill that's just hot button poison pill stuff like uh, like Planned Parenthood. There's no reason for that to be in this appropriations bill. Lawmakers are working on this large government funding bill and are hoping to have a deal in place by Wednesday. The negotiations, though, already had to be extended. Guys, I'll send it back to you. A lot going on, Bo. Thank you.